Okay, so another week of extra 50% HP, but this week we have a new thing where we actually can use passives, and I've, I've been trying so many things, like you see how many losses I have, like I <laughs> I tried with Kingdom for a while and I don't know, Kingdom just wasn't working for me, mostly Halberm is really bad without his passive, um, and also with King's passive as well, boosting him too, and then I tried a few other teams, I tried with Estosa, I tried with a lot of things, it just wasn't working, but this has been consistent. Like, I think I have like 12 wins with this and one loss. And the only loss was against a mirror match, I think. Yeah, it was the only loss I, I, I had was against someone also using this team. But he actually had 189k CP, so he went first. <laughs> it was the only loss. So, it works pretty well. Now, I've been trying many different foods. This is, this is actually my first time trying Penetration. I tried with Lifesteal, it works pretty well, uh, because of how much uh, HP we have, Blue Demon Melee already has Lifesteal, if you put Lifesteal food, he heals so much when he does damage, like it's a lot, but I'm, I'm gonna try to pay attention food if it's good as well, so he has uh, Helbrim in his team apparently, I think that's the Helbrim weapon right there, uh, no, wow, <laughs> that was not even close, <laughs> what was that, Skinner? wow, it's fine. Uh, this team is very scary, mostly because I can't, of course, um, Petrify or Attack Seal. But DML is still very effective against it, so we'll see. Let's see what he does. He's gonna rank up and then Arthur level 2 maybe, probably. Given that he didn't combine any cards or he's not, and he's not like ranking up twice with Gopher. I'm assuming he's just level 2 or something. Oh, he's... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Level 2 with Arthur. No! Oh, he's gonna wait! Okay. Smart. Smart. Uh... Hmm. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let him not um, get the next turn if possible. Hopefully, he did get it, so this wasn't a waste. And he probably didn't. Ugh. Okay, so here's here's uh, where it begins. Blue DML, even without Lilia, is still good. Like, a lot of people think, oh, he only works with Lilia. I mean, he's much better with Lilia. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But he still functions. So let me show you right now. This is with pen food. I, I have not used penetration food yet. So it, it might be, that, like, actually even better than how I'm used to. Uh, Ascaner's ult is very scary, but there's nothing I can do about it. So... Boom, boom, this is my second time facing this team actually. The first time I actually won, but he did have less CP, so let's see how this will go. Yeah, good damage. Level 3 does way more damage now. And he doesn't have a healer, so there's not much he can do. Unless he's using like steel food, which I doubt he is. He had too much CP, I think. He's probably using either HP food or something to increase his CP. Uh, usually people go for uh, Meliodas with their ults. So that's who, ooh, unfortunately. If he goes for melee, oh, that's good. You might think I, I might find this bad, but that's actually good. Because, first, because he didn't die, but second, because of this. I didn't want my melee to die at all. And heal, this is like a mostly full heal from King. Boom. Like melee, he doesn't need Lilia, look. He doesn't need Lilia, he still, do, he still does good damage. And then King fully heals himself pretty much. Oh, still good. And he gave up. Okay. Ooh. Mirror? Let's see if it's blue. Oh. How much? Oh, it's a green. I faced a green there in Ellie uh, earlier today. How more? Like, they had like 100 more CP than him or something? Okay. So I'm doing a level 1 go for it. Doesn't matter. I just wanted to waste a card. Uh, I knew he didn't use a void food because he used uh, old food. You can clearly see. Usually people with Green Demon Melee go for his ult, which makes sense. So, uh, how do I want to do? I do want to Petrify him, of course, but... I should Petrify King. It seems better. Oh, he's... Ooh, smart. He's going for uh, nullifying my ult gauge. It's smart. Okay. 
Oh yeah, another thing that's really good about the ML is Corrosion. Uh, because you have so much health, you actually take a lot of damage as well from Corrosion. So do this. Um, this, and then Patrify King. Boom. Because King is his only source of healing, uh, I'm gonna stop him from healing for a while. And of course, Bull DML is still does good damage. Petrify. There's no counter to Bull DML. Like, mostly the counters for Bull DML are either Red King or, or Valencia. And, oh, are you kidding me? One more Bull DML card, I win. I could, yeah, I would have won. If I had got one Bull DML card, I would have won. A shame. Because I would have killed everyone. A shame. Uh, yeah, I would have killed everyone. Okay, let me do this. I'll fully heal with uh, King just because. I'm assuming he's gonna go for killing King. So at least I, I guess I'd make it a little bit more difficult for him. Good, killed Gopher, nice. But if I had, as you can see, if I had. Uh, no, even if I had one more Blue DML card, would it, would it have killed? Because then I would have done level 2 and level 1. I wouldn't be able to like rank up, right? Would it have killed? I don't think so. I think it didn't matter. One thing that matters though is the amount of freaking corrosions I have. Damn, it's a lot. No patrifies. I assume he's gonna heal. Ooh. Does that kill? He probably does. Yeah. DML ults do so much damage. He didn't heal! Oh no. Boom. Boom. I'm gonna make sure that he's dead. I'm gonna make sure that he's dead. Level 1. I don't care. Level 3 Corrosion does so much damage too. Yeah. Good thing he's level 1. Good thing. Because now he's dead. Oop. And level 3 Corrosion, he can't take it off. Like, he just can't. <laughs> he just can't take it off. So he's gonna take 30% of his full HP. And Escalon should actually take... Uh, should actually be one-shot. He can't take off the debuff, the Corrosion. So yeah, he just gave up. Okay, last match. Gopher, I assume... Green Eskener? Oh, this might be a bot. Given the low CP. No, he's using old food, so it can't be. Alright, I'm gonna do this. This. And seal attack. This is gonna force him to actually cleanse if he wants to attack. Invasion? I don't... I assume he's gonna have to cleanse. No, oh, okay, I was about to say, no DML card, but I did get a DML card, so that's good. The strategy is if you face a uh, king, to always petrify him. Like, nullifying the enemy's healing is the most important part for these, like, extra 50% HP things. 100%. He might even go for what I'm, what I'm saying right now. Yep, he's smart. He mostly should know what he's doing, I guess. Yeah, he's, if he if he is smart, he should be uh, going for uh, petrifying my king all the time. But we'll see. Boom, boom, boom. He can heal, but nice lag. He can heal, but I think it's still good to just uh, DPS him a little bit right now. It will put him pressure. He's gonna heal with level two king, by the way. So he's gonna like mostly just take off all the damage that I did. If not all the damage I did. Ah, bad cards. But I can make it work still. Depending to what he does. If he doesn't Petrify King, I can attack seal him. Mm. Uh, okay. Mm, he got gold for his ult. Man, I needed a go for rank up. I'll, I really needed a go for rank up. Uh, really bad cards, man. Really bad cards. Mm, I'm gonna do this. Attack seal. And petrify you. Really bad cards. <laughs> petrify. I need I need a go for rank up and some melee cards, please. I got a melee card. That's that's helpful. A lot of healing. I actually don't mind the healing. Because it's gonna be needed. So <sighs> because he got asking his ultimate, I'm pretty worried actually. Okay. I'm gonna do this. 
Then a heal. Petrify his king. Always petrify king. He still attacks you. Of course he can use Asking Result. When he, if if I if I'm predicting right, he should go for actually Meliodas. Um which right now is actually his best option. If he goes for King, he loses. If he goes for Meli, he might still win. Because look at look at look. If he doesn't kill Meli, I kill his king. But he doesn't know, right? Of course he doesn't know my cards. Oh he went for King. It, to be fair, that's the smartest choice. King is like the strongest unit. Right now, with this meta thing. But, one more melee card, one more melee card. Yes! <laughs> okay. Bump up melee. Do this. This should kill King. It should definitely kill King. Especially uh, given the pen and stuff. Yep, kills King. So he lost his healing as well. We're, we both lost our healings. Boom. That's good damage too. And then I can Corrose. Which is again really good. What was his fourth card? Merlin. Using Merlin in the back is not that good anymore, but still functions, I guess. What to do? Uh, I guess I'll rank up Melee. Should use level three Corrosion. That's that's really good. He can he can't cleanse it. You can't kill Melee unless it's level three. Yeah. Almost got the ult. Me Escanor has so much actual life steal. Okay. I'm gonna drink up Melee. And then Corrose. And then actually attack Seal. You're gonna have to Corrose on me. Corrose level 3. That's a lot of damage. Attack Seal. He probably has a shield, I assume. Corrosion level 3 is gonna kill Gopher next turn as well. Oh, he can't take off my ult. He can't. You don't have an attack with Merlin because I'm an attack healing you. This team works really well, I like it. He's probably gonna shield up. Oh no, attacks you. Yep. Break it with corrosion. Um I'm gonna do this. This and then I'm gonna move an Ascador card so I get his ultimate. Blue the Sun! Do I kill Escanor? My goal for is 4-6. I do kill Escanor, the match is done. I like this team, it's been working. Uh, lost only one match of it, and again, it was against a mirror, so it was... Uh, the one match I lost with my team was against my team, so <laughs> it works. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate, but Corrosion... Oh. Okay, yeah, this match is done. Ooh, especially with... Uh, Bring up Askanu. This and this. Oh yeah, baby. It's done. Team really works. If you can try, I mean, mostly uh, the high level of difficulty in PvP is on champions right now. In, I guess, um, uh, Challenger. But I like it. Blue DM Ali doesn't need Lilia. Ben food helps, but <laughs> he, he's really good on his own still.